non-conference matchup 3-1 Eastwood visiting 1-2 Bowling Green first quarter. Eagles out to the early lead, Case moves from distance. Nine points already for the senior at 17-6 Eastwood. Second quarter, Braden Fryman forces the turnover and converts at the other end, cuts it to a five-point game. The Bobcats go into the locker room, down three. In the third, Bobcats defense with another takeaway. This time it's Evan Brandt, lays it in. Bowling Green with their first lead of the night. We head to the fourth, Amir Ruffin drives and dishes it out to Fryman in the corner. Drains the triple, and we've got a tie ball game. Just seven seconds to go. BG out of the timeout, draws it up, and Case Booz goes for the foul, but ends up ripping the ball away. The senior team high 29 points takes it the other way for the win. 59-57, the final Eastwood wins it in thrilling fashion. Well, that last play we were supposed to foul because we had two fouls to give, so they in out of the ball. Nobody was going to foul, so I was going to take matters in my own hands. I was going to go foul and give, give a hard foul just to reset the game. But I ended up stripping it and taking it away, and I took two steps, and I just laid the ball out for the win. I mean, it was just locked in. I, I, I couldn't really feel anything. I just let the ball go, and it was going in, and I just kept doing it because it felt good. So. Kevin Peel and Scoop Miller join us from Bowling Green. A walk-off win tonight, heartbreak in December. These are the types of games that get you ready for tournament time, and it sure felt like it inside here tonight, didn't it? It sure did. What a great atmosphere here at Bowling Green. Both teams left it all out there. Eastwood just a little bit better. They made the play down the stretch, and they get a walk-off win here on the road at BG. Yeah, just looking at that final play scoop and the way that it all transpired right before a timeout that BG had taken with seven seconds left. Jabari Conway hit a three as the timeout was taken. And then for the game to end the way that it did with Busa, breakaway layup on a great defensive play, it was fitting for his night. It really was. You know, we talked about his offense. He ended up with 29 points, but his defense is what really made the difference there down the stretch. Eastwood had a couple fouls to give, so they were really aggressive, but Boos was able to make a play. He made the finish, and uh, both these teams are going to win a lot of games this year, no doubt, though. Yeah, they certainly will, and when you look at Bowling Green, we saw their resolve tonight. This was a BG team that was down 11 points at the end of one. They had plenty of runs on their own right, and they are going to be tough to beat, but we saw seven different scores from them tonight. A lot of different guys can do it for them. Yeah, I was really impressed. They had six different guys score eight points or more. I mean, that's a great sign. Battle back hard. We're able to uh, take the lead there, but uh, Eastwood, what can you say? That's a that's a gritty team that just kept battling. And they made one more play, and that was the difference. Those are the types of games you live for. Eastwood, 4-1 and one on the season. They now play at Rossford in front of the BCSN cameras on Friday. Bowling Green also stays home. They'll play Southview. Their record's at 1-3, and three, but this is a much better than a 1-3 and three team. Excited to see them get back into action on Friday.